Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is actually going to be something that I have never done before and it's going to be my all-time top five Lush products. I have been noticing recently that a lot of people have been integrating Lush products into like their hair care videos, their skin care videos, their favorite videos, and I have been a huge Lush lover and supporter for many years. So I basically had to narrow this down because I, let's be honest, I could have done a top ten. But these are products that I really, really stand behind, products that I use every day, twice a week when I'm in the shower that I just absolutely swear by. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and let you guys know um, my top five products from Lush and also um, what I think about them, what I use them for, and um, at the end I'm also going to have a little bonus because I was really hard to, to narrow this down to five. So let's get started. Probably one of my favorite, like, ugh, definitely one of my all-time favorite Lush products, but probably possibly one of my my favorite product ever from Lush is the Lush Tea Tree Water Toner. And what they describe it as is an antibacterial tea tree, astringent, grapefruit, and balancing juniper berry keeps disasters at bay. Beneficial for anyone with oily or spot prone skin. I use this as a toner. I absolutely love this. It is so gentle. I definitely feel like it really helps with my oily skin. It just, it's sort of like, almost feels like a clarifying water. It's just so gentle. It's so refreshing. I use this um, after I wash my face, after I uh, put on a mask, after I take a shower, really pretty much any time that my face is getting wet, I use this afterwards. And it's just, I mean, I've already used up like... I don't even know, like three-fourths of this bottle, and this is a 8.4 fluid ounce bottle. So I think that really attests to how much I actually do love this stuff. Before this, I actually had one of the smaller bottles, but I used that up so quick, and ended up getting the big bottle, and I'm almost out of this, and I use this just constantly, and I absolutely love this. So if you're looking for a good toner that's gentle, and it's effective, and it really helps if you do have acne, or you have acne-prone skin, or you have the kind of skin that is just combination or oily I would actually I'm not sure if it would work for dry skin because I've never I mean I don't have dry skin but I know specifically for if you have acne prone skin this really does help so that's number one <coughs> and number two going along with face uh, skin care products is the ocean salt a lot of people are starting to recently get into this and I've been using this for ages and basically what it is it's described as a face and body scrub it says coarse and fine sea salt scrub with organic lime juice to brighten and avocado butter to soften I don't use this as a body scrub just because I feel like um, it really isn't abrasive enough like when I exfoliate my legs and my arms like I want something that's gonna get the dead skin off and make my skin soft. So I just use this on my face because I feel like it is abrasive enough so that it gets off the dead skin but it's gentle enough to use on your face. I mean you can pretty much use this on your face every day but I only use it twice a week in the shower like when I deep condition my hair and um, it's just amazing. It really is like the best face scrub ever. Let me show you. It kind of looks like almost like the ocean. Like well, I guess that's why they call it ocean salt. So. Uh, well it kind of, I kind of um use a lot of the blue but there's like a blue and then there's a white and you mix them together and it smells like straight up sea salt but it's like it's so i don't even know it's just like the perfect face scrub ever <clears throat> Another reason why i don't use it for my body when i first got one of these i used it for my body and it went like and this is like not cheap so definitely the fact that i only use it for my face twice a week really helps this last and really is just kind to my budget because if i had to buy this like if i had, if i use this on my body i would be buying this like i don't even know probably like once every three weeks or four weeks which is ridiculous so yeah but this is like my all-time favorite face scrub and i absolutely love this next up is actually a shampoo and it is the blousey shampoo they describe this as contains rose oil, black currant, absolute thyme, and rosemary perfume that reminds us of big floppy blousey flowers. And basically, I'm not going to lie, this is the worst smelling shampoo ever. I don't even know Ooh, how to describe it. It's just not good at all. But basically what I use this for, I use this as a clarifying shampoo before I do my deep conditioner. Like really, if you want like a really, really good legit clarifying shampoo, this is your guy because it really does a good job of just removing all the dirt, all the oil, all the built up, everything from my hair so that when I put in my deep conditioner after it really penetrates the strands and it makes my deep conditioner just come to life. Like it seriously makes my hair so soft, so silky, just so like it even like cuts down on the frizz and I think that it, when it really comes to your deep conditioner working, you need a really, really good clarifying 
clarifying shampoo and this is a really good clarifying shampoo and it is expensive but I don't use it that often I only use it probably once every two weeks I would say because I do have a cheaper clarifying shampoo that I sort of switch these off with so I end up only using this about once every two weeks so it does last but um yeah this is a really really good clarifying shampoo and I absolutely recommend it okay and next up I have one of my all-time holy grail sort of body care products it's kind of hard to um, describe anyway it's the rose argon body conditioner and it's kind of an odd concept because basically what it is it's a conditioner for your body that you use in the shower but you don't wash off what I do is I use it at the very end of my shower after I've already washed my body off with my body wash you just take a little bit in your hand you rub it and I put it all over my body and then I just stand there for about five ten seconds in the shower and then you just rinse it off but you don't wash it off you don't wipe it off and it's very it's a very weird concept because it is kind of like a greasy oily feeling in the beginning but I swear if you let it sit on your skin <clears throat> and let your skin dry you can dry yourself off naturally but if you just let it dry it soaks into your skin and it gives your skin this like silky amazing feeling like the kind of feeling that if once you get out of the shower you put on body butter and then it dries that's the kind of feeling you get so basically you can get that feeling without having to use body butter and it is just amazing and it smells absolutely incredible I don't really think it smells like roses but it is an amazing smell. I mean, you can see like the consistency of it is so thick. So imagine just lathering yourself with it and then just rinsing it off and having it still sort of cling to your skin. It is just absolutely amazing. And I would recommend this product to anybody. <clears throat> If you're hesitant to try it, I mean, if you do have a Lush store near you, I would uh, recommend going in and getting a sample. That's actually what happened to me. I don't have a Lush store near me, but I was actually out of town, and I got a sample of this, and that's what started my obsession. And this is my second full-size tub that I've gotten in, what, four months? So, yeah. It does go kind of fast, but it is well worth it, and it's definitely worth the investment, especially since um, you don't necessarily need, like, a body butter or a body lotion after you get out of the shower. Of course, adding one is always going to make your skin feel better, but really, like, especially on warmer months now um you don't really want to get out of the shower put on body butter and then go outside and sweat it off so this is definitely a good alternative for having to get out of the shower and put on your body butter or your body lotion and of course if you put on lotion over this it's going to make your skin feel even more amazing but the point of this is that you don't need that so it is definitely is a good alternative especially if you're running late or something and you don't want to have to bother with waiting for your body butter to dry I definitely, definitely recommend this. If there's one product I think you should try for, from Lush, I definitely think it's this one. And the tea tree, but also this one. <laughs> like I said, you can get a, um, a sample of this if you don't want to take the plunge and spend the full, I think it's like $30, maybe even $40 on this guy. But um, yes, absolutely recommend this. Okay, next up, or I guess last up, technically, even though I have a bonus one at the end, I am i couldn't exactly pick one of, like, the bath products, so I went ahead and just sort of, as a as a whole, like, the Lush bath products, the bath bombs, the bubble bars, the bubble runes, I absolutely love it. I mean, pretty much Lush bath products are the reason that I even take baths, because I was just, like, totally anti-bath. I think the last time I actually, like, took a bath before I started using Lush products was when I was pregnant, like, six years ago, so this... These guys have absolutely restored my faith in baths. And um, I have a couple of here, a well, couple of them here. This is actually a bath bomb. These are the ones that you could just, you just drop in once. This is like a one-time use. This is the pink mini. Some of them, like the bubble bars and the bubble rooms that you can break apart and use several times, like up to four times even. But this one, this, the, the um, bath bombs, because they are like hard and all one piece, you only can use them once, which is the drawback, but hey. But this one, however, this one is called the Comforter, and this is the ones that you can you break apart and use, like, four times. I actually had a, a orange one like this that I broke apart, and I used four separate times, or four separate baths, so. And they're not, like, crazy expensive. Some of them are, like, three dollars, and some of them are, like, six, seven, eight. It really depends. And then I have one that's sort of in the middle size, and this is the bubble bar. This is a rose bubble bar. And they're just so cute, and sometimes it's like I almost don't want to use them, you know, because they're so cute. But I will use them because they're awesome. So yeah, those are my top five Lush products. And I, and I do have one honorable mention, because like I said, it was really hard to just put everything into a top five. Because I, I definitely could have used, I could have done a top ten. And um, I actually don't have it with me because I just used up the bottle last time before I did my empties videos. So I ended up throwing away. But it is an American Cream Conditioner, and I will um, put a picture in here somewhere. And it is just like, oh, it's really not the most moisturizing conditioner in the history of conditioners, but the fact that it's so 
the smell is amazing. It's so potent. It's one of those conditioners that, like, I wash my hair, and three days later, my hair still smells like it. It's incredible. It's, like, boom, scent, and it just makes your hair smell amazing. So, like, <clears throat> especially I would um, recommend it if you, like, dye your hair or if you bleach your hair, if you at home masks, like, you know, with, like, banana or mayonnaise or apple cider vinegar, I would definitely recommend using the American Cream Conditioner because it really just sucks out everything that's in your hair and makes it smell like the conditioner, which, by the way, smells awesome. So so those are my top five and a half products. Yeah, so those are my top five uh, Lush products and I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope you got some good recommendations. And if you would like to know any other Lush products that I am currently using, currently loving, or I have tried in the past, just leave me a comment down below and I'll let you know what I think about those products. And um, if you guys would like to see any more of these like sort of top five videos for me, let me know and I will definitely get on that. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.